cleaning up some, some fish on the docks. This is Trey. He's cleaning some fish he caught yesterday. Go check out his YouTube channel. I know part of them scales. We gotta get back to editing. We can put them on the boat or something. I can't untangle those right now. Too much going on. Normally, Kirk has his own GoPro and I have a GoPro. Kirk usually keeps his GoPro in the housing and it's always there. That's where it lives. So he never has any problems. But me, I have a, a whole bunch of gear. And sometimes things get mixed up, things get thrown around a lot, and in this case I, I ended up scratching my lens somehow. So I got back home and I was going through the footage and it was just terrible seeing this black smudge on the front of my, my lens. And the first thing that comes to mind is, oh no, like everything I saw today is just going to be garbage because of it. And this is one of those heartache moments where you just lose a lot of good footage and it's all because of simple gear mishandling. Again, this is just another instance where I had a, a gear malfunction. I put the wrong GoPro in the wrong housing and that led to this smudgy looking weird footage.
Tabe was coming up with the this nice female hogfish on his spear and I saw that his slip tip was actually falling out. Your tip is slipping. Huh? Your tip is slipping. A lot of times when you shoot a fish and you get a gut shot, there's not a lot of meat to hold on to there or a lot of bone. So it usually just it's it's not a good shot. A lot of spear fishermen aim for like body shots where there's a lot of meat or, or a head shot would be perfect. But sometimes you don't you don't get it where you where you're aiming. And again this goes back to like always having a dive partner with you it really helps a lot. Like Tabe's fish slipped off and he wouldn't have been able to shoot back down there and chase it because he just got back up from a dive. That's my spear shaft! Yeah, I saw it a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab the spear for you. Thanks. <laughs> Tiger. What is it? Tiger grouper. Let me take these to the boat. That's old one, man. I don't know. No, this is mine. I left it here like probably a month ago. Cool, it's all surface rust. I had a head on to slip okay. them. Sweet. Awesome. <laughs> ho, ho. <Good> Thanks. <laughs> Bye. That big tiger you saw? Hey? That big tiger grouper you saw? Yeah. He's in this cave a little bit to the right of where you just were. Okay, okay. And there was a there was a nice sized hogfish that just went in there too. Oh, yeah? oh, yeah. But I don't have a flashlight, so. Yeah, you wanna take it? Yeah. So we we made a couple dives on this cave and it was pretty obvious we weren't probably weren't going to see the tiger grouper or the hogfish again even diving with a flashlight so I was just about done and ready to go so I saw this lionfish and decided to take him There was a comment that was like, why didn't you take the lionfish? And my response was, oh, he'll be there when I get back later. It's not going to go anywhere. And this is that same lionfish. Shout out to that commenter because I probably wouldn't have taken this lionfish. A lot of times we like to go out just for the fun of it, just to find new spots, just to get a few fish for dinner. We don't always expect to go out and catch a million fish. We're not commercial spear fishermen, so it's not like a big loss if we go out and we only get two fish. Our main objective at the end of the day is to get something or to find a new spot and just have a good day. This was one of those days where we just went out and we were like, it's windy but we want to go diving so let's go to this spot and see if we can get a couple fish for dinner.
So we were down here and on our way home and decided to check out this island that has hundreds of seagulls flying around. Why? Look how big these is. Why? And I can see every single one of them now. Yes. Look at us, guys. I don't think this crazy. Look at all of them. They're everywhere. Living good. I see no curves. Oh. What? So we got a fat boy lionfish. But like his head so that's crazy. A lionfish. Got these Spanish hogfish, you say? Yeah. Wait, look at that purple. Yeah, they're freaking pretty on the water. Hey, you want one of these? I don't know how you still alive. Give me how good they are the next time I'm not taking it. Mahogany snapper. How are you gonna cook yours? I'm gonna scale them all and try. You want one of these? What's Big boy Poggy. What is that? Poggy. Yeah, Poggy. Poggy, yeah? Yeah. It's a type of snapper, actually. Right? Pog. What? The Poggy. It's That's like a type of snapper, right? Snapper. It's close to the Dentex. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it looks a lot like a Dentex. It's mini Dentex. Like, uh, it's, um, it's so super similar to Moo. Like, they look yeah. almost identical to Moo. It's a little, yeah. But they're pretty, though, I ain't gonna lie. I dove down and saw three of them. They're kind of like iridescent. Yeah, you hit that on the first dive down, huh? Eh? Yeah, I went down to go check that out and then they were down there. The tiger group. Right? I'm going to scale them all. Slice them, gut them. And just throw them in the frying pan. So the lionfish is super easy to scale. Like really easy to scale. And they're even easier to fillet, but I'm gonna scale him because he's got a lot of meat in his collarbones here, and he's just a big fish. I wanna get as much meat off him as I could. Um, gonna cut his head off because these these are still pretty sticky, so I'm gonna cut all those off just by removing his head, and then he should be able to fit in a frying pan. And I still gotta gut him, take the gills out. There's no reason at all why you shouldn't kill these lionfish. They're super, like I said, they're super easy to scale, they're super easy to fillet. And they're causing more harm than good, so if you see them, shoot them. And in my opinion, they're one of the better eating fish. They're definitely in my top five. If I had to recommend the type of fish to someone who's never tried it, it would definitely be lionfish. Make sure you're very careful, obviously. Cut off all the spines before you try to do any work with it. And you should be fine. So we're in the kitchen. I got all the fish chopped up. Put slits along the side. But like I was saying, it's one of the best fish you could get. And I'm really excited to try out this wrasse. It looks good, so we'll see. This is the fish after it's been seasoned. I had it sitting in the fridge overnight to properly marinate. And it's Sunday, getting ready for Sunday dinner. And we got everything frying up now. Fried them crispy dry, you know. Hey, brethren. Yeah. Yeah.
Got a little sister. Got mahogany snapper, Spanish hogfish, lionfish. You think, buddy? If I fry the fish, somebody else got to do the sides and then tray washing the dishes. Wow. Incredible. Hey. Check this out, guys. With a, with a light in, with a light in. Need the good light in, the good light in. Mmm, that ain't it. But that's a deal. Yeah. See them? Sugar bananas. That's bananas you'll ever eat in your life. See, they're yellow, but they ain't ripe yet. Sugar bananas, you wanna wait till they start turning brown? That's when they ripe. That's when they the sweetest. See what I'm saying? Yeah. When they start falling off, that's when you want to eat them. I had to move the, the old setup because it was too much breeze. But look at look at up the, the the Spanish hogfish, man. My goodness. Looking extra crispy. My goodness. How do you think they look like that? Woo! Yeah. I hate him, I hate him. Mom say she been grocery shopping. I've been shopping. Mm-hmm. I only got one. I wish I had a cutter, I could have trimmed the tree. Final product. Crispy. Most people will say that's burnt, but really it's only the skin. The meat underneath is like, trust me, fire. Another life hack. Use the, the broccoli steamer to help drain the oil off the fish. Makes it taste a lot better. Danielle did some mashed potato. Fish, nice little snack. Danielle like to put ketchup on everything. And hot ketchup sauce. Ketchup and hot sauce. Cause only when the food tastes bad. How she tastes, Danielle? Great. Please don't, are you gonna record just, me eating? Danielle, just, just do Peel a piece off, peel a piece off. Yeah, let me see it. Yeah, let me see it. Hold on, she gotta focus. She gotta focus. Wow. All right. All right. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing. We're almost at that 1,000 subscriber mark, and I got big plans for when we hit that mark. Keep liking and sharing the videos. I really appreciate you guys.